I am Matt from HikeReviews.ca and this is the Brian's Genetic IV Pad Review. Um, so I've had these pads since about January. It is now middle of May, end of May. Um, and I'm pretty confident in what I can say about these and I've used them enough that I'm, I'm quite a fan. So um, I always have people ask me what's my favorite pair of pads or what pair of pads I should buy. I don't feel that there's an answer to that because every pad is different. Every pad has pros and cons and every pad kind of plays differently. So it depends on what you're kind of looking for. Um, with that said, I generally like stiff pads. If you've seen my Bauer 2X video, you'll notice how stiff those are. These are not that. These are not a stiff pad. As you can see, soft on the boot, soft in the thigh, soft everywhere. With that said, you can tell that this pad is pretty straight. Um, in terms of, I have not flexed this at all. I never put weight on this to do that. I leave it straight as can be all the time. That's my preference for pads, so I don't really change these that much. Um, so yeah, so I guess let's jump into this. So I, I mentioned soft boot, pretty soft thigh rise. You can really bend that down. I went stock everything just because I wanted an idea of what the stock pad would review as. Um, now, Brian's is really good where you can customize everything you want, basically, and they'll make whatever you want. Again, I went stock just to try to get as close as to what retail people can find. Um, I won a championship with these, so if you haven't seen those gameplay videos, I suggest you watch them because these helped me a lot, or I just played good. Um, so I'm going to blame the gear on that one because I can blame the gear when I suck, so I'm going to blame it when I played well. Anyways, um, first off, I guess while we're looking here, um, I love Brian's. Brian's graphics are like no one competes with them, to be totally honest. One, they do a really good job of allowing you to separate things and doing a ton of different designs. Like every layer is another possibility. And the other is they let you do a few changes and tweaks to them if you want to make them like custom, but not really. So I added this line here. Um, when you go through the normal customizer, you can't get this to be black in this whole mark makeup. I think it's always either white or orange. Um, so I contacted them and said, hey, I want this one to be black. So it separates the orange from the white. That was kind of my theme of you had matte black separating the colors from the white in the middle. I got this idea off Robin Leonard. I put it there. The reason I bring that up is because I had a, quite a few people actually ask me how I got that stripe there. And so that's how I got it. Now, um, I guess, I don't know what much to say from this view besides going a little closer. Um, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, actually, so for sizing, uh, so these fit exact same I found as my optics, which are, these are both 36 plus one. Um, they fit very similar to my XL Bowers, um, I'm trying to think of 35 CCM. So they fit pretty similar in terms of all of that. The one thing I noticed, and I think this is kind of important to, to mention, when I first got these, I had some problems falling off. Uh, the top of the knee block. No, sorry, falling below the knee block. And I was really curious as to how that was happening. I thought the pads I ordered were a bit too big. And I saw some people mention online that um, genetics fit bigger than optics. So I was kind of worried I got pads that were too big. So what I found out was this tie was, I did this wrong and I had to adjust how tight they were. Um, so basically when this was too loose, I only put it through the first hole in the first time on my skate because uh, I was worried about stretching it. And when I did that, I wore a bootstrap that was really loose. The pad would come off my skate all the time and then I would end up losing my knee landing because the pad would kind of move, my knee would be there when normally it's right there. But because it was so loose, it wasn't holding anything in place. Um, my solution was to tighten these and to wear them properly. Then I everything fit well. So I took out the bootstrap that worked well, took out this strap that worked well, and then took off my custom strap that went from here to here, just like the optics. And that worked well as well. Um, so I found that these did fit very similar, if not identical to my optics. So I don't think you really have any worry there. The boot shape is a bit different. Never had an issue with it though. Um, so I guess now we'll kind of move to a closer view and we'll take a look at some of the wear and other stuff like that. All right, so now that we look at this, we can look at the side. Um, we can go over a few things here. So, one, Brian's has their Opti Slide, which is this, um, I think they call it their Opti Slide material, which is right here. Evidently, it's coated. It's a, you can hear it. It's like, a, it's a really interesting material that Brian's hasn't really offered much before until the 
the optics where they put this on here for better sliding. Uh, it's also on the thigh rise, as you can see here. It's evidently very good for durability in places, and it's more durable than normal Gen Pro. Vaughn copied this and put this on their pads as well, um, but Brian's had it first, so I'm putting that out there. The wear on the inside of this is phenomenal. Um, all this nylon has like the very bare minimum of wear, which here, I'm trying to get this on camera. So all this nylon has a very bare minimum wear. You can kind of see a little bit, not much. You see a tiny bit on the outside of the boot, but again, very minimal and nothing to be worried about. Um, Brian did a really good job putting this Opti slide everywhere where it mattered, and as well kind of lifting this off of kind of the like where the seam is. So this part is where the, you are always sliding. You can kind of see, well, I can see when I look at it right here is where the toes kind of touch in the ice. Everywhere else, Brian's did an excellent job with this. They do a really good job with their seams where they're kind of tucked below and they don't have nylon binding anywhere. Never have to worry about this hitting anything or rubbing anywhere. Phenomenal job on actual design of this to make it kind of work exactly as intended and make this as uh, durable as it should be. Just showing the other side to show I'm not kind of hiding anything. Everything's really good in that sense. So huge props to Brian's. I really like these pads and how they design this is very smart and they're kind of thinking about durability and everything else where other companies are not. Bauer. Um, so we'll kind of go, I just want to show off one piece really quick. So the speed skin does wear off a little bit. So you can kind of see where my the, the thighs touch, so the puck marks there, and there's some wearing of the material right there. It's not big. Thigh rises always wear down and this one has it too. Hopefully this is on camera. So thigh rises always wear down there. I'm not really worried about it, um, but I want to point it out to just show I'm not lying and show that there is a bit of wear on these. Um, the other part that does have some is kind of the Gen Pro on the outside. So that's where a hand always, gloves always touch and where it rubs against like jerseys and stuff like that. Again, not a ton of wear, but it, I want to point it out. The, I find the, the carbon Gen Pro kind of flakes compared to the normal one but it doesn't wear any better or worse. So I'm kind of fine with that. Um, so these pads are a little soft in terms of rebounds for my liking. Um, now I knew that going into it because it's one of their softer pads, but even the optics were a bit soft for my liking. I like really hard pads for rebound. So Bowers work perfectly for that. I find the harder the rebound, the harder it is for the opponents to get that rebound, especially when they shoot low to try to get rebounds. Harder the pad, that makes it harder to corral that. <clears throat> so, yeah, so, um, but I mean, there are there were some times where I knew people were shooting kind of for rebounds, so I tried to kick it out more. And I actually have, in one of my latest videos, uh, I had someone who did that shot low blocker side, made the pad save. They managed to pick up the rebound because they didn't go out far enough, and I made a lucky save after that. Um, that was an important game. Bigger the rebound there, it would have been harder for them to grab, so that's why I kind of like that. Um, so on to kind of the outside, just really quick. So I did matte here. If I I meant to make this just normal black Gen Pro, but I totally forgot. So it was my mistake. Um, I don't have much to say besides this. It is a very thin pad all the way through, and it is very flexible, just like torsionally. So you can kind of see it flex that way. Some people love that, some people hate it. I don't mind it. Um, I don't I don't really notice, I, like going from this to the gen, the optic isn't a huge change to be totally honest. Um, going from this to a, the Bauer 2X is a very big change. So I don't know, like I think Brian's are just kind of on the softer side overall compared to, well, especially compared to Bauer. Um, but some people really love that torsion flex. I think these pads are one of the best soft pads uh, that people should go to. So if you were kind of in E-Flex or like old, like Mon Velocities, you should really take a look at the genetics. I think they would be, they would really, really work for that style. Um, and I think that's something that like is beneficial to these, but it, it's just kind of another option there, right? I would, well, I have a pair of E-Flex 4 coming, so I'll be able to compare those to these in the future. But I think Brian's is kind of onto something with these and these are very, very solid. and. Like just the way that they play, you can be very active and mobile, or you can play more butterfly and reactionary like me, or reactive. I don't know how to explain. It. I'm more of a blocking goalie because I'm a big guy and I don't move that fast. So 
but these still worked out perfectly for me and they worked really well for Robin Leonard. And he's a big goalie, he doesn't move a lot. So they work kind of for everyone in that sense. Um, so now going on to the back, kind of get this out of the way for a second. So my big area of complaint for these pads, which, well, okay, it's a strap, is these smart, uh, smart bungee straps are not good enough. So you can see the tape here. Um, on the inside of my skate, the side of the inside of my skate, this part has ripped open, this outer shell, and, or sheath, and that part's ripped open, and now it's just the exposed elastic pieces underneath. So I taped it up to stop it from breaking down anymore. Um, I, the reason I say it's not good enough is because it's wearing out, and I bought some other companies, Kineskis, and they have a thicker one on the outside, so they should have gone that route, or sorry, Brian should have gone that route. I'm a little disappointed in that. That's me nitpicking. It's not a huge deal, but I want to call it out because that can definitely be improved. And I think Brian should do that. Everything else Brian does is really good. So that's kind of frustrating. So um, I guess knee block, we'll start here before I dive into here. Um, so it is nice and like firm. It's not super hard in the spot, but I never found it kind of bowing out. So it does its good job of holding its shape. Now, they added this like kind of really soft Nash material and this interesting design. I don't know. I have a hard time like telling, figuring out what these knee pads or these knee block and how comfortable this is. And the reason being is sometimes I'd wear these and I'd feel nothing. And then other times my knees would kill after playing while wearing these. So I, it feels a bit soft, but at the same time it feels hard. So I'm not sure if this really does what like they're trying to do with this. Um, I kind of wish it was just the whole thickness all the way through, but I, they worked for me. They weren't a huge issue, but it's just something that was kind of weird. One thing I do really like what they did is they kind of pro bumped it. So as you can see, it has the bump behind. So this is like the max width that, or length you can have, I think for the knee block itself, but then they have that bump back here to so it flattens out when you wear it. So you have more coverage without this being kind of sloppy. I found these pads played very flat. Like I didn't have a ton of any issues going back and forth of rolling. I was always stable on them. That contributes as well as a nice calf wing there. So my strapping for these has always been here. And the reason being is I found when I go down here, it kind of just pulls the pad up a little bit. And as well as this holds my knee in place. When I do desperation plays, this really holds my knee where I need it to be. Um, so I always put it there. I was hoping this or kind of the interior one would work kind of like the SLR professor strap. It didn't. Um, I think if I could get this strap, this piece kind of as an SLR strap, you might not even need the elastic, um, but you don't, and I don't have that. So this is the best route I had for that. I really like how they're doing their double elastic. You can see how the inner one's a bit vacant. Well, the external one isn't. So it's nice that they have the two there for extra kind of durability and length on that. Big fan of that design. Now this strapping system is my favorite on any pad. Well, okay, SLR, I love the, re the, the reaction control or whatever strap it is, but this is so easy. It's literally two straps and the toe ties and it, it fits my leg great and it holds my leg wonderfully. I love how simple this was and it was like the easiest way to get dressed. Never had issues with it once it was on and once I worked it out. Never had to adjust these after like at all and it was just, Everything was perfect. So I really love this strap. I also love how much this covers your leg. So it wraps really nice. You have this padded all the way around for the off slide. You have it nice padded down here with wear guard. Like everything is really smartly done on these and I'm a huge fan of Brian's. So there's a massive credit for it. Um, so when we look on the inside, more comfortable Nash with this mesh. I don't know why this is here. If it's just for looks or if it's to weigh things down or to allow sweat to go somewhere. Very comfortable pad though. Like it feels so comfortable and soft and plush. Everything is really nice in there. I don't know if I would go this route if I ordered these again, or if I just go all nylon to try to make them lighter because they're not a light pad. They are pretty heavy. But when you look at the pad, there's a lot of um, like luxurious components to it, right? Like this is all Gen Pro. Could have made it nylon to make it lighter. All Nash and mesh could have made it nylon to make it lighter. You got Nash. Again, can use nylon, can use nylon, can use nylon. So they they went kind of the luxurious route with these and I'm okay with it. Again, you can customize anything you want with Brian's. So it's not a huge issue, but 
stock it works really well i'm i'm sure you can really kind of core strip this out to make it more lightweight i don't really see a total need to be honest because i don't notice a big difference when wearing these compared to a lighter pad in terms of performance and everything like that it's just how they fit and everything is the big and how they slide is the big thing um so i mentioned this little nut piece of kind of pillow on the inside here this does uh optics have a pillow that i felt was like cheating and pushed your leg down this is very close to that so it's not quite as much as cheating cheating as i'll say as the optic was but this wraps your leg wonderfully it's super comfortable and it really helps flatten that out but it doesn't cheat quite as much as optic but it, i had like no issues with the puck sliding under this at all I, they sealed pretty well like below the knee down they seal fantastically so i'm a huge fan of it again the strapping is just wonderful on these um so i think that's about it for most of the pad itself the boot again has that sorry the opti slide for the wear or primo that's what they call it they call it primo primo for the wear i like that because nash down here i find always gets stuck on either um velcro or just skates and kind of eaten up does have a pretty defined boot channel which is kind of rare nowadays most things are flat Again, I had no issues wearing this pad at all. Loved wearing the pad. Found that going from this pad um, to the optic and vice versa wasn't a big change or big issue. So I wouldn't really worry about that. Now, my other complaint about this pad is, so the seal of the thigh rise. So when you look at the pad like this, it is fairly flat. It does move a little bit, but when you actually wear it, I find it, it's not really an issue. I did find that when I, this would come off a little bit. So you can kind of see right here, it's not totally on there. Like it's, it seals okay. I think it seals better than the optics do or my optics do, but it's still like, I've noticed this come up a bit. I haven't noticed pucks going under these ones, but I have noticed the thigh rise bending on me. Um, but also when you, when I go in the reverse VH, it does pop up a little bit. Um, but again, haven't noticed pucks going under it, but it is a concern. As you can see, there are puck marks here. Um, and I had that issue with optics where pucks were sliding under that once in a while. So I just something to think about. It's one of the, like the big things why I'm a, why I give huge props to CCM and Bowers, how they seal this so well. Um, I don't know if it's possible with how thin this core is and pad is, but it's something just, I want to put out there and my kind of one minor complaint. Um, I guess the other thing I should talk about when we're on that is how soft these are. So you can see you can really bend the core. Um, now these ones aren't bending quite as much as my optics were on the tops. So I'm not sure why that is, if they're a bit stiffer or what, but I wish that was a bit stiffer all throughout. I'm not sure if that can happen with these pads without kind of totally changing the core and making this not as like this pad, especially because of how flexible it is that way. I'm not sure if that's possible to do, um, cause it does have their, again, their torsion flex system, but it's one of my like small complaints about the pad. I always point that out to people when they're looking at stuff, just because there's a reason the Bowers and the CCMs are the way that they are. Um, it's They do have that strength there where other companies kind of don't, but that's about it. So overall, I'm not gonna say these are my favorite pads. And the reason I'm not gonna say that is because I really couldn't tell you between these and the optics, which ones I really like more, because I both really like them like more than anything else. Um, what I will say is I am done looking for orange and black pads and that should say something. Now, if you checked my channel before, which you should have, I buy gear all the time to test out and to use. Um, and I try to match my gear with some of my teams, my tiger seam, orange, black, and white. These are the pads for the tigers. They are orange, black, and white, and I'm not going to get anything different. And I'm going to stay to this because I like these pads that much. They've won me a championship in the very first year of wearing them, which is pretty impressive because that team is always the underdogs and um, that's impressive in my eyes and my team's eyes. Um, but I played really well in these pads. There are a few things I changed, but not enough for me to go looking for another pad because I like them so much. And that's a huge praise for me because I've used like everything, I try everything and I have my Tiger set and this is them. Um, so I wore premieres to try to find that set. Didn't really like them, went here, now I'm satisfied. The problem I have with that is when Genetic 5s come out, I'm gonna have a really hard time buying them because I like these so much. Um, so that's basically all I can say about that. I would absolutely recommend the Genetic 4s to anyone that's looking for pads. Um, 
Now, the problem is a lot of people don't have the ability to try out gear like I do. And every pad is different and every pad has pros and cons, like I mentioned before. I love, I like stiffer pads and these are not a stiff pad and I love these pads. Um, but I also have a feeling that if you're a fan of like Velocities or even SLRs, because SLRs aren't that stiff, these could be a great option, something to check out. I think the strapping is one of the best in the business. The quality is definitely one of the best in the business, if not the best. And the customization is the best in the anywhere else with that. Um, so I definitely suggest people take a look at the Brian's Genetic 4 pads or IV pads. Again, fantastic pads, softer rebound though and softer pad, but they work really well for me. They're a bit heavier, but my mobility and everything in these was fantastic. And if you don't trust me, okay, it's fantastic for me. I'm not a super mobile goalie, but I have a ton of gameplay videos up with me wearing these. So I suggest you're kind of looking at it, like take a look. I did move well on them. Um, they felt very natural to me. And I, like, I love these pads. I'm definitely recommending them to people. Maybe not my favorite because I can't really pick a favorite between these and the optics, but they're so close. Like both of them are so close to each other that um, Brian certainly has a really high quality product. And I, I hate to say that gear makes you better, but I definitely play really well in these. And I, you play well when you're comfortable in things and these I'm definitely comfortable in. So they have made me play pretty well in them. Um, so I think that's about it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description. If you have any comments or questions about these, please leave them below. Uh, remember, if you ever buy a piece of equipment because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer on social media, let them know. It gets me on the radar so I can get kind of stuff to demo and stuff to test out so I can make content like this. Um, so glove and blocker review will be coming as well. So they will be linked in the description and at the end of this video. So that's it. And again, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.